Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game, Past Cure. I played the demo for this. Uh, oh, there are four, five, six, seven chapters in this game. And one of them is called Endgame, so that's easy. Let's make sure the subtitles are on, then we'll get to this. Nice. Close the option menu to save your settings. Done and done. Oh, we can change language? Wow. Probably just for the subtitles, but still. Neat. Uh, I think that's that. Let's let's get on this thing. So I played the demo for this, and it was do 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 do. I don't I don't feel like challenging combat today. Uh, I played the demo for this, and it was very much like the Evil Within. Like the I mean the graphics weren't as detailed obviously but it had that kind of vibe you know like an actiony silent hill my father always said that it's our dreams that reveal our deepest nature if that is true then i'm lost okay That's not a bad visual, I gotta say. Now we're gonna have an adventure in an upside down house? So I'm fine with that. Okay, we are walking through an upside down world. Neat. And immediately finding a pistol, because I can't stress enough, this is a video game. Or is this one of those situations where it's testing me and I'm not actually supposed to grab the pistol right away? And I have in fact uh, made a crucial error by going straight for the USP. I hope that's not it, because I would rather be shooting people. Uh-oh. It's a Nosferatu, everybody. He's got fangs. Please tell me he has fangs. Time to learn how to shoot, I assume. Stay away from me! What? That looked great. I have to find a way out of here. And then Hogaru turned the uh, sensitivity on the aiming way down. What is target speed? I assume it's while you're aiming. All right, done and done. If I recall correctly, there was one, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Such a weird, weird effect. Uh, thing for health and one thing for refilling your bluebird energy, which is what allows you to perform psychic uh, feats. It's called Bluebird Energy for reasons that I'm sure will become clear as the game continues. Uh-oh. Do I have to shoot him in the head or...? Okay. I do not. Can I open the... Uh-oh. No! Oh, he punched me in the face. 
What a jerk. Stay back. That was a game over, everybody. I have to I find switch shoulders while aiming. Not while not aiming, so gotta get used to that. Oh no. That was close. Do you have a sprinter? If I do, I haven't found it yet. Oh, I see. There's two blues and one red, and he comes out of the red one. Alright. Maybe I don't need to reload after every shot. Oh, we're not doing this three times? We're not doing this three times. That's unusual for a video game. Yay, a second gun. Controls are kind of stiff. Yeah, like, it's weird how... I mean, you're wondering... How much does it know it's engaging and ripping off Evil Within? And the answer is, well, the game's in widescreen. And it's, like, the second ever game to be in widescreen. So, yeah, it's probably they know. Which is fine. A lot. A lot is the answer. The answer is a lot. Um... Yeah, like, in all likelihood, it's not like they didn't know that Evil Within was awesome and want to do uh, a riff on Evil Within. The aspect ratio alone lets us know that was their priority. Okay. There are a lot of these guys. Is that it? Are we good? No. What? Don't panic. Or if you're gonna panic, panic less than you've there been must panicking. Be a way out. Save point. It is too dark for me to see what's going on. Is that it? Are we good? I just keep going through the same rooms over and over again. Is this a? Uh... Is this actually developing, or am I supposed to fi be figuring out some way to go? There are more of them. So, I mean, that, that suggests I'm doing something either right or very wrong. Oh, that's a lot. And now I can't even hit them. I'm running out of bullets. Oh, is this it? Are they going to keep doing this until I run out of bullets? Because that's going to happen soon. Maybe now. Yeah, this might be it. Whew. No, I actually did have to kill everybody, and my uh, bad shooting almost made that not happen. Uh-oh. So is this, uh, is this trying to imply mental problems or pri trying to imply virtual simulation? I always wonder what artifacting means in video games. Okay.
we've now moved you from that level of reality, the haunted mansion level of reality, to this, Wait. the endless void what level of reality. Is one of them real, or are you just in another dream? Where am I? Am I? Am I dead? Considering you killed all the zombies, I would say no. Probably not. Okay. Lady in high heel boot shoes. And I'm being asked to follow her. I have never seen anything like this before. Oh, he's actually speaking. Nice. So First off, they're called footprints, not footsteps, but whatever. And then they led me right into a wall of spikes. that please it's lots of red there. light sorry well orange deep orange anyway kind of thing where that could actually be the pathway to hell heaven for fend you give me a sprint button right oh i can zoom in whenever i want not just when i've got a gun guess that's good to know Do it. Quickly. Although I'm not getting any closer. I'm sorry, Ian. No! No! Well, that was cold. Although she might not have been doing that on purpose. It's hard to tell. This is how the nightmares end. Overpowered. Helpless. A sacrifice to violent gods. Well, I actually did beat them all. So I was neither helpless nor overpowered. Just, you know, semantically speaking. I'm sorry. No! No! Oof. That one was new. The girl screaming for help. Is that a tattoo? Where the hell did she come from? Is that a weird tattoo on your face, dude? I need some water. <clears throat> 18 months of nightmares. Ever since I escaped from that hell. 18 months. Relentless. Unchanging. And suddenly her. She wanted to take me somewhere. What pulled her away like that? Apparently this guy has the most awesome beach house I've ever seen. The hell is your job that you can afford this? Is it government murderer? Do you murder people for the government? I feel like you might murder people for the government because in the demo, I was at a corporate office shooting people. And, I mean, it could be rival corporations. But I like to imagine we're a government murderer because... That seems, like, infinitesimally more moral than being a uh, corporate murderer. Wow. Seriously, that is a gorgeous beach house. From a man who doesn't believe in walls, but does ha believe in having a preposterously huge uh, bathroom. Which, who could debate that? Uh-oh. So are there children here? Because why else would you have those letters? I'm 
wake up my love, okay? God damn it. Oh, so the beach house is also a dream. What are you doing here? Hey, who? What the fuck is going on? Wait. This is just a hallucination. None of it's real. Get your medication, and this will go away. Uh oh. It's a fully healed up version of one of the Nosferatus. And they don't look too happy about all those Nosferatus I was shooting earlier. Don't look at them. They're not real. Weird thing to fantasize about. Keep it together, Ian. Concentrate. I would love some drugs you could play. Ah, medicine cabinet, of course. Ah, my bluebird pills. Nice. That's better. Ah, by the way, they recharged my sanity mirror. Mirror, sorry, meter. I was looking at a mirror. Uh, okay, story current objectives, any items you're currently carrying. Okay, information. The blues. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Nice. Okay, Marcus, what's going on? Do you need me to government murder some people? Marcus? Who else? Sorry to disturb you so late, but I had a bad feeling. How are you? Wow. Not good. Nightmares? Hallucinations? Had a bunch of dialogue. Both. But this time it was different. There was a woman, Marcus. Do you know her? No. But she seemed... familiar. Like I should know her. Do the pills still work? Yes, thank you. Not only for this. For everything. Ian? I mean it. I turned up out of nowhere with the weirdest story and you believed me. You took me in. Let me stay in the beach house. Got me medication. You're my brother, Ian. There's nothing in the goddamn world I wouldn't do for you. Thanks anyway. Thank me later. I have a present for you. I found a trace. The man who took me? There's a traitor trying to sell a remarkable drug. It's called Nexus, and it's supposed to give the user certain abilities. He's selling to a pretty shady organization tomorrow morning. You should go there and shoot all of them. They rented two floors of the Crowley Arms, downtown. The place will be brimming with mercenaries, Ian. I don't care. If he's the lead, I'll be there. Are you sure you can control it? Yes. Good. I will keep on digging and send you the information tomorrow. Rest now. Trying to place these accents. Are they, uh, are they Germans? We will bring them down, Marcus. We will burn them to the ground. Good night, Ian. Good night. Out of the ruins of World War II, Oh, here we go. Arose another battle. We got some more plot. With each side employing the brightest and most ruthless scientists to develop a new weapon. Oh my god. It's about the government the building psychics. Projects like M what? Ultra gave birth to a dark age of science. Inhumane experiments were conducted on prisoners, students, and even children. Their goal, unlocking the hidden power and potential of the mind. Yay. Foster shut down from their dangerous methods and lack of success. But there are many who believe that they were continued in secret, financed by private organizations, hungry for the promised powers. I'm, I'm so happy right now. Powers attained through pain and suffering, turning men into monsters. Real psychomantis type of situations. All of that just to get to the opening titles. Nice. Okay. Father always said, only the weak speak to themselves. But I like it. 
It keeps me focused. You're thinking to yourself, though. Helps me make sense of this mess. Three years I'm missing from my memory. Three years between stepping out of a plane from Syria and waking up on a highway in England. Oh. I have no idea what went on in that time. But something changed. I have a question. A plane something from Syria, where did it land? Because if it landed in England, well, that would be a good clue as to why you woke up in England. I can see and do things that should not be possible. I have somehow gained a power that I can barely control. A power that's turning me insane. Whatever has been done to me, I'm still a soldier. And a human being. If I hold on to these thoughts, I will survive. Okay. Are we leaving footprints in the sand? No. That's something I always check. It rarely happens. So it's the whole game that's in widescreen. Uh, I should check my gun before the morning. I'll need it tomorrow. Damn right I will. I thought it was just going to be like just the dream, uh, dream sequences. Who but now. turn to when you are lost? That's a good question. Family. Marcus was smarter than I. And yet you're and the one who got uh, it is fortune as a doctor. brought into this me. evil organization. It still is. Yeah, um, I thought it was just going to be like hallucinations and dreams were widescreen and the rest of the time it was just 69. No idea how Marcus got hold of them. I don't but no, it's, it's all the time. Did the army turn me in? Found a new document. I, I assume they want you to find all the documents, although I have no reason to believe that. Is there a car? Oh, there's my car. Hopefully that's an automatic gate. But anyway, here's a here's a quiz question for you. Uh, recently, I think last year, there was an episode of television, so in the past year or two, uh, where it's normally, you know, because it's a TV show, it's normally uh, 16.9 for widescreen televisions. But on an episode of this show, everybody got high. And while everyone was high, there's a file I can't read. While everybody was high, suddenly it became 235. Like it went super widescreen. Cinemascope. So, can you tell me which uh, TV show and which episode went from 69 to 235 when everybody got high? If you can, and you're the first commenter below the video to mention it, you will win a prize. Just be sure to put a time code. The shooting range is locked. Ah, because I gotta clean the gun first. Oh, what's in here? Is this my office about where all the murderers is a are? Connected man, but despite his contacts, our investigation into my disappearance has only drawn hmm. blanks. Seems like Marcus might be in on it. one who shares my story. No clues or pieces that fits the puzzle. Huh. But so yeah, just put a time code in with your answer. Texas. It's the strongest lead we've had so far. So that I can confirm uh, that you're correct and award you the prize. Nice. Um, so yes, uh, a Since code from my Steam grab bag of game codes. Or should I say, I see it at a different rate. What does that mean? And if I concentrate... I Ooh, can see nice. In slow motion. Like Captain America. It's beautiful to watch, but leaves a splitting headache. That's why you take drugs, gotcha. No? Okay. Alright, how do we do melee training? Because I gotta admit, I was not good at melee in the game. Apparently, Blocky Paloa is, uh... Alright, press to punch, press multiple times... That's not bad. Ooh, an imaginary guy to punch. Wait. Was that was that it? Did I do it? No. Ow. There we go. Yeah, 
Anything else you need to teach me? Ow! There we go. No, I think I got the gist of it now. Let's go uh, fix that gun and practice some shooting, shall we? Okay. Marcus insists that I keep a dream diary. He says it's vital that I record all hallucinations and dreams. The entries are always the same. Horrific locations. Violent deaths. But Ooh. last night was different. The woman calling my name. She has to mean something. I concur. Also, isn't it weird that your brother uh, had a uh, already had a shooting what range? What normal person builds a shooting range in their basement? Thank you. Well, I'm not a normal person. But it's not your basement; it's your brother's. It was Marcus' idea. He thought it would help with my recovery. Routine is good for a soldier. Oh, I Marcus see. believes my powers are a gift. Master them, but he doesn't know what it's like to feel the very sanity being drained from your mind. That's why I try to do things the old-fashioned way. If I keep my skills sharp and remember my training, I shall be fine. Is that it? No. I didn't score very well, did it's I? It's getting late. I should get some rest before tomorrow. Can I, can I try that again? You're not going to let me try that again. Ugh. Fine. I'll just go. I'm not happy about this. You got crazy eyes there, buddy. Also, I've forgotten your name. I know your brother's name is Marcus, because I hear it a lot. Aw, a giant Y. What's that sound? Is there a bird in the house? A bluebird, perchance? Aw, oh, there he is. My bluebird buddy. It's the origami bluebird that serves as a uh, surrogate for my powers. Or totem for my powers, I guess? Oh crap. That's not good. So do you think the lines on that piece of paper are the actual lines that would happen if you built an origami bluebird? Maybe. DK 820? 8200? Oh. Medium damage, low precision. Well, then why did I buy it? Apparently, I have decided I to get some listen to the mysterious note I received. I'm just gonna make sure there's no one hiding in the house waiting to kill me. Wait a minute, is there no... Okay, there's a sliding door here. I'm like, is there no door blocking off the outside? Because, you know, it's a beautiful mansion, but that seems strange. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, that is a uh, place where the man keeps his pocket squares. Because he carries a... Where's a pocket square, which kind of uh, identifies him as terrible. Another another dream, another chance for me to shoot uh, shoot Nosferatu's in a dream, because I'd be down with that. All right. 
concentrate. You're sleeping in your clothes, dude. That's very no strange. Nightmares. Even for a video game character. The kind of character is most likely to sleep night. in their clothes. She has to mean something. I know it. Maybe if I focus on her, she will come back. She was beautiful. Ah, damn it, we're back in a chair. Was being strapped to a chair, or at least forced to sit in a chair, part of our uh, MK Ultra training? I want to. I want to hear more about the tattoos on his face, what the hell and whether they have any significance. It's one of those figures again. They're called Nosferatus. It's not moving. Most of them weren't I have moving. To find a way out before he wakes up. Does he want to play chess? Oh my god, are we gonna play chess now? Spoiler alert, I'm not good at chess. All the pieces are set. But where's the key? Ooh. Wait, I just heard something move. Ah, here we go. Prison walls fitting. Again, you really have a bad habit of that's messed up. Uh, not subtitling half of what the characters are saying. I mean, it's not important stuff, but I don't know why you're not. Uh-oh. So, do you think at some point we're going to understand the significance of the name Past Cure? Or is it just going to be a weird translation issue? It's not a way out, but at least I found the king. In the most suspicious place imaginable. Wait, what happened the to the board? The have been reset. A chess riddle? Oh. I haven't got time to play games. You say that, but... I'll find another way out of here. Really? Oh, damn. Ah, fuck. What was that? Did he do that? I love that a chess riddle was what set up. Game is this? And his first thought is, King? oh, screw this. Like, no, so obviously he wants to play. Also, I don't know who you are dealing with. it's a room I full of uh, Let's see. concrete walls. The king is useless. I can either move the queen, the pawn, or the rook. And you have one move to win the game? Move any of them. The others will be beaten. Is that what it's about? Sacrifice? All right. Like my old man told me, sacrifice the weakest piece. What the hell? Why can't I breathe? You didn't sacrifice the weakest piece. You moved the pawn to safety. Fuck. How do I stop this? And gave them a chance to take your queen there. or whatever. I have to put the pawn back. It stopped. When the pawn is in danger, so am I. Oh. Is this supposed to mean something? It, it is. Am I the pawn? You are. Are these people... Who would the other pieces be? Either way... 
There's only two other choices. Also, I want to point out the pawn is still in danger. Sacrifice the queen or the rook. You're not good at chess, are you? Because I just want to point out, look, if you put the pawn up there, one over, it's not in danger. It's safe. 100% safe. It's the other two that are in danger when you do that. That's just how chess works. Anyway, I just, I can't believe I have to school me, a person who is, and I'm just going to admit this, because there's no reason not to, terrible at chess. Even I recognize that this game is misrepresenting how chess works. Anyway. Do, do you want me to have a, a book or a gun? Or a gun and a book? Oh, it's not a gun. Oh well. My research on astral projection. What? Seriously? Am I able to use my powers in here? I've never tried that in a dream before. Okay. Let's use astral projection to complete the puzzle room. Alright. Tilt to look around. Fly. Fly backwards, left and right. Ah, there we go. Yeah, they didn't teach me how to do that in uh, the demo, and I was very bad at astral projection. Ooh. Mysterious. Maybe that controls the door. Can reach it with my mind. Perfection. All right, let's go find somebody to shoot. Using my uh, magic powers, of course. My psychic gun foo is how I like to think of it. I may be the only person who likes to think of it that way. We got three switches, they're different colors. Do we have to hit them in a different order or or what? Hmm. I've never projected that far before. I hope I can reach it. Okay. Can I sprint while using? No. Oh what the hell? Did not mean to move forward. At least we don't have to wait for a long reload time every time I get killed. I've never projected that far before. I hope I can reach it. Come on, switch. We can do it. Yeah, same thing almost happened there, but I pulled it out at the last second, so yay. Let's try this again. Yeehaw. That's more like it. It's interesting how my fantasy world is so industrial in nature. Lucky there is some loose here. I can't keep up with a migraine like this. Okay. You said there were blues here? I don't see any blues. You said lucky there are some blues here. To me that would suggest there are pills I can take. I don't see any. Oh, they're up there. Okay. I have to finish this first. Gotcha. Ah, you know what? You get 40% of your... Uh, 30 or 40% of your uh, switch back. That's fine. Switch. No, your, abil your ability meter. Perfect. Yay. My medication. Damn right. Nice. 
Ah, but what is the long-term effect they have on that sanity? I wonder. Nothing. They're just they're just pills. Oh, okay. I thought it was worth asking. Where the hell is this going? Hopefully not a dead end. Wink. More puzzles, everybody. Because that we're that's what we're here for. We're not here for you know, shooting Nosferatu's. We're here for puzzles. Fuck. More switches. <laughs> he and I are apparently right on the same uh, wavelength about these things. Okay. Two. Yeah. And so the other ones are on the other side of this, right? Inside the rotating... I was going to say cylinder, but not cylinders. They're rectangles, quite obviously. Which is, of course, German for right angle. It's a very boring piece of trivia I have to offer. Okay, one more. Let's do this. Oh, hey, I can see them through the stone. That's going to be convenient in the future, right? Got that one just as I ran out of power, so yay. More blues, see who play. In the demo, I was like, why don't you just let me refill my uh, power bar all the way if I wait long enough? Like, what's the percentage in only giving me a little bit? Ooh. A maze? Uh-oh. Do I have to guide this through the maze? I've, I've done things like that before. Really all the time in hidden object games. Mazes are like Duriger. Whoa! It's actually an evil face. I'm so happy to see you. They said I couldn't go to you. That you were still sick. But I knew they were lying. Can you hear me? Ian? Are you saying the beach house is a fantasy and I'm really in a coma? That would be quite a twist. Do you remember the first gift you gave me? Nope. That old, ugly baseball bat. You thought it would impress me. <laughs> it did. It had been such an awful day. I was scared. Weird. And desperate. And lonely. And then, there was you. Standing in the hallway. Cheeks red with anticipation. Do you remember what you said? <laughs> Happy V-Day. You thought that adults talked like this, always in abbreviations. You wanted to sound cool, even though you were nervous. I fell in love with you then and there. I knew that you would be my savior, my protector, my love. You would never forsake me, never betray me, never forget me. You remember me, Ian, don't you? Okay, that got weird. Got the Tetris. It sounds so familiar. Symbols in the thing. This. All right, how do we do this? I assume uh, more astral projection. That's it right there, the yellow one. I mean. Nope. Don't have enough time to get to it. Oh, good. You can. Uh, the maze comes together as you walk through it. Well, that's going to save me some time and trouble. Oh, we got this. That's one. Come on, we can do this. Nope. Not quite close enough. Did 
Did that do it? There we go. I guess this is how I was supposed to get to this one, which was actually very close to it. And I just didn't see it. Okay, one more to go. But I'm stuck in a maze and have completely lost track of my bearings. So that's not good. Oh, okay. So they're both right here. That's the fourth one, right? Can we also turn off the maze? Turning off the maze would be ideal. Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, my lack of a sprint button. Oh, hey, I've got a crouch button. Sorry, sorry, wrong button. Creepy. Crap. Back to square one. <laughs> I don't know if it's square it one. Fucking circles. At least this guy hasn't moved anywhere. We learned more about our relationship with that lady. The pieces have been reset. All right. Time for a second go. This time I will sacrifice a rook. I shouldn't be this offended by your misuse of the word sacrifice, but I really am. Because again... Well, now that time you did sacrifice the rook because you moved it somewhere where it's going to get taken to no effect, so... Bravo. Alright, what's next? Nice. My notes on perception. I guess this is going to involve some time manipulation. I love time manipulation. Oh. Okay, I still move at full speed while it's, uh... That makes sense. Come on, let's do this. I was going to try to make it through both at once, and I realized that I hadn't refilled my bluebird energy. And that would have been a deadly attempt. Come on, we got this. Yay! It's a, it's a long training sequence. Although they're getting a decent amount of plot in there, too. Oh, crap. Do I have to use time manipulation to catch this guy, or, or kill him? Shit. More likely, kill him. I don't, I don't have a weapon. Maybe I don't need to kill him. Don't I have to sneak by? It would help if he was moving a bit slower. All right, so. Apparently, he saw me there. No! No! Oh, ow. Oh, that looked bad. All right, uh, so they're not screwing around with the uh, run and sprint and duck. Also, you didn't teach me how to duck, so there's that. Shit, I'm not alone. I don't have a weapon, but maybe I don't need to kill him. Don't I have to sneak by? It would help if he was moving a bit slower. Weird that I can't Kung Fu Nosferatu's, but what are you going to do? So, excuse me, I'm going to hide behind this wall where you can't see me. Hopefully. 
I feel like he shouldn't have seen me the first time anyway, but who am I to judge? You're the person writing a review of this game. Right, so I'm literally the person to judge. Okay. Strong point. Me. That one okay. I hope there are not more of these guys in here. There are definitely more of these guys in here. They're right there. Oh, those are just evil walls. It's interesting, once we don't use our powers for a while, all the HUD elements disappear, because, you know, the game wants to focus on its visual style. It's not a complaint, just a observation. Makes sense. Ooh, finally. Slower to... Why is that in quotes? Who taught you that? Alright, let's do this. So can I turn on time perception when I'm already aiming? What the hell is supposed to happen here? Okay, didn't slow down when I slowed down time. I thought I would have to shoot the core. Yeah, that's way easier to shoot, you're right. Quickly reload. I don't actually need to sh uh, slow down time. These are not hard to hit. When they start throwing three at me. There we go. I decided I needed to refill my drugs because did a weird headache visual. And the world warped and I thought that was going No! Alright, I forgot to reload. That was bad. Is that it? Oh. What well, would have been nice, and I know the game maybe would have been too complicated to do this, as you shot the blocks, they reformed the bridge. That would have been neat, right? Eh, they can do what they want. It's their game. Some black creeper vines. Ooh. I would love to target vital points. Do you just mean headshots or enemies going to need to be shot in the knees or wrists or whatever? Uh-oh. Okay, not good. Yep, yeah, liking the slow-mo stuff. Of course there are. Ah, you can reload while in slow-mo time. Oh, okay. I don't need to be in slow to kill them. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that meant there was going to be another wave of enemies. And in our next video, we're going to be putting all to this to use. Killing actual people. Or, depending on who you believe, more projections, because this is all taking place in a coma. Alright, what has she got to say now? Or is it a new character? Marcus and I had to practice it over and over. One of Dead's favorites. Is it is it Beethoven? I feel like it's Beethoven. But I'm basing that on very little. Whoa! Ian. How nice of you to come. I'm very happy with your progression. The nurses say you've been a very good Okay, so the the Rook is the doctor who did this to us. The Queen is a lady. We met. Oh, the doctor who did this to us was our father. Now, there's one thing I wanted to talk to you about. Fascinating. There is a force in the world that is stronger than fear. Even stronger than love. Okay. The force is duty. Oh. Good men are governed by their duty. A deep feeling wrong. Duty has us do things that are beyond our own morality. 
Uh oh. Shaking every pillar of a No! No! Whoops. I forgot which button moved things into slow-mo. That's uh, something you cannot afford to forget, it seems. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Now, there's one thing I wanted to talk to you about. There is a force in the world. Alright, so. That is strong. Once I flip the switch, zombies will attack. Stronger than love or hate. Oh no, zombies will just that attack. Force okay. Is duty. Good men are governed by their duty. A deep feeling for right. There we and go. Wrong. Duty has us do things that are beyond our own morality. Shaking every pillar of our personality to the core. There are real monsters in this world. Not hiding under your bed, but in plain sight. Smiling at you across the breakfast table, staring at you in the mirror. There are abysses in every oh, that was the wrong button. every woman. And duty helps us control them. Control ourselves. If we lose control, the world burns and the monsters win. Don't remember that, Ian. Okay. Dad had uh, issues. Talking about monsters and whatnot. The weird guy is my point. Oh, is that it? Neat. Thought that was going to be more complicated. All right, so reload. Kill one or two without powers. And kill the last two with power. Stop using psychic projection when you mean to use slow motion. It's going to be job one there, hopefully. Stop confusing these buttons. Come on, we got this. Almost there. Where's the last one? It's right here, I want to say. Oh, no, it was only three. Nice. Okay. I think we're done the training area. We've learned how to use slow-mo and uh, astral projection in rapid succession. So that's good. I think. <laughs> Uh-oh. Things have gotten eerily quiet. And my father's terrible life lessons have suddenly stopped. I wonder what that could mean. Wink. Did they switch directions there at the end? I should pay closer attention. Oh, good. Back to chess. Except the guy's gone this time. What now? What options are left? More importantly, who's the king and where is the king? Because the king wasn't there in the puzzles. Uh-oh. Obviously, I'm going to put my hands on the board. I'm not crazy. I remember this. This was my hand. When you were a child? And this one was... Who? Who? Uh-oh. Let me go. These Nosferatus have problems. Isn't that, isn't that you with a beard and a shaved head? Oh, no, probably not. Oh, damn! It's time to wake up again. It's time to open the eyes. So spe apparently spending the night thinking about, uh, trying to go to sleep thinking about a lady does not help you dream about that lady. Although you did have one eighteenth of a dream about the lady. It was not the significant part of your dream. That was having a crazy skinhead beardo gouge your eyes out. It's time to open your eyes. Again, not subtitled. You would think that it would be, but you would be wrong.
Oh, Ian. You're having a rough time of it, aren't you? <gasps> but that would mean we were still in the dream. I'm kidding. Obviously, I think we're still in the dream. All right. So, uh, I think... Oh, I can't quit yet, can I? Let's take the call from Marcus, then we'll stop. Marcus? Good morning, Ian. Did you get some sleep? I mean, kind of. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Ready to roll. Wonderful. I've got the name of the seller and some intel on the buyer, so get your gun, take the car, and go to the hotel. I'll text you what I've got. Thanks, Marcus. De nada, hermano. Be careful. Something doesn't feel I still don't trust you, Marcus. Last night. I'm not entirely I'm sure why. Memories of my father. The voice of the woman. They all felt so real. Like I should know them. Were they real memories? And the guy with the beard. He seemed to know me too. In case you're wondering. Are we going to have a gunfight at this uh, beach house later on? The answer is almost certainly yes, because, oh my god, look at it. All right, uh, this is going to be a great time to take a break. We've learned how to play the game. We've gotten hints about the guy's background, his father who forced him to do the experiments, a mysterious woman from his past. Like, there's plenty of meat to this story, obviously, that we're going to be excited to get to later. But for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, uh, just... Click on the buttons that allow you to subscribe or check out another video. I'll be back with more Past Cure soon, so to find out... Uh, boom. Uh, to find out what happened with Ian's, uh, Ian's adventures through Chess and Nosferatu's, just check out the next item on the playlist. Weird that you have two bath... Well, no, I guess it's not that weird. He's got, like, a guest bathroom downstairs. Uh, but he doesn't have any space for guests to sleep, so why does the extra bathroom have a shower? You see the you see the issue I have with that? It's not a big issue, but it is weird. Sorry, where was my gun? <gasps> Alright, like I said, I'll see you back here for more, but until then, au revoir.